anything. No, my thing is a little bad for a Coriolisate. Oh, oh, okay. We're experimenting in the sink again. Yeah. Mm. Coriolis is uh, reversing, reversing every four minutes. That's why the weather's gone nuts again. So it's going to be interesting for someone to do it in the Northern Hemisphere over the next few days. You do it every four minutes or so. And see if it reverses. It should be going uh, anti clockwise in North America or Europe and clockwise in Australia. But it's been doing this uh, while the bad weather's been on. It's going back and forth like this. Now, babe, what's mm. with the lights? What light? <coughs> Let there be light or not. <laughs> $8 in a $2 store. <laughs> yeah, it's the Redex shop. You would have thought for $8 you'd get four pair, right? <laughs> well, $2 store. Well, no, 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 it wasn't a $2 store. It was a Redex shop. Oh, that's where I get rejected. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's where we shop, at the Redex shop. <laughs> <laughs> so, have, having much fun with our brand new glasses. Actually, these, these are amazing. They come with spare batteries. And the Frank Sherry Honey, if you see this, the frames are like optical frames. Uh, they're really sturdy. They're not like your regular cheap junk shop stock. These are worth the $8. Hello! <laughs> Look at this. You can read anywhere at any time. If you're blind in one eye, you don't have to turn one side. <laughs> How about that? My father said to me once, you get the hole on. You put up the bowling greens, lawn bowls. So the old guy down up there is your blind as a bat. And the captain gets up the end where the, he wants the bowl to be placed against a little cap. He blows a whistle. And so this old guy, by the sound, bowls. You see, yeah, he's a good bowler too. So you've got to think about these things when you get old. I said, yeah, really? Yep. You said, I think I'd rather be blind than deaf. If you're blind, you still play bowls, obviously. All you can do is hear the whistle. You can hear the music. So I said to him, well, if I had my brothers, I'd rather be blind in one eye and deaf in one ear. <laughs> he wasn't happy with that. He was very really upset, right? <laughs> oh. Now, we've picked up uh, our... Uh Suitcases and things that have been in storage down at, in Melbourne, Castle Maine. But ran by the Mossad, tried to mm -hmm. kill us. Yeah. Anyway, bottom line is six thousand two hundred dollars damage to the car. We paid seven thousand five hundred for it. We could pay out six thousand two hundred. Then we got six hundred and twenty dollars back for the air conditioner wasn't working either. So we ended up getting the car for better green. <laughs> Love it. So now we're seriously looking at liposuction for one of us. <laughs> oh dear. You no, can have a vote actually, on who you think is going to get the liposuction. I, 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 actually, uh, I was just chatting with Manon and uh, Tay Bo. Hmm? Cardio kickboxing dancing. Tay Bo. Well, I won't be doing that either. No, you won't be. So add that to the list of things <laughs> I won't be doing. All right. So. We've had fun with our, um, we'll be back with a serious upload tomorrow, maybe, yeah. or maybe not. We're done with serious, I think. Oh, speaking of serious, and not the star. Radio program you're talking about? No. Oh, that's oh, very interesting. Well, well I, yeah, okay, we, we can talk about the radio program. Let's put some lights on. Not those. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yes, the radio program that. Uh, oh, that's better. That's better. Let that be light. As you can see, I've picked up the suitcases with our Fiji gear in it, and I'm wearing a Fiji sarong, one of the many that. Um, yeah, what were we talking about? The radio program. Radio program. Yeah, yeah. So, Graham Toowoomba, lovely guy, a real saint. Diane, you might have already heard this from Graham. But uh, he listens late at night to a particular radio station and a particular DJ who was having trouble 
uh, remembering the fellow's name. Given another week or two, he might have thought of it. But anyway, what he was saying was that it, the DJ always had this particular um, introduction to the radio. You'd recognise the, the, the show by the, you know, what do they call it? Jingle, theme song, whatever. And he's changed it recently to a more angelic sounding theme song. And he's been telling people that's because we've crossed over to the north side of the Milky Way galaxy back into the heavenly realm. Now, I don't know about you guys, but there is nobody else in the world of uh, bullshit. bullshit talking about moving back over into the north side of the Milky Way galaxy, the heavenly side, except God himself, the stone the builders rejected, and everybody else out there. From so, here on known as the fourth year on. <laughs> Which was 22.2 centimetres. James, that was That's for you. So long I wasn't born. No, that was inches. No, I'm talking about the urinal part. Yeah, the urinal part was 22.2 centimetres. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't pick it up real quick, do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm answering James's question. Was that inches? <laughs> no, that was the length of birth. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what have we learned from our trip back? It's confirmed. Uh, isn't well, Mossad can't kill us. Yeah, that. What by, else? By trying to kill us, uh, we get a car for a grand. Which <laughs> was quite bad. This car had twenty thousand dollars worth of uh, paint oh, job. Oh, paint right? job! Oh, couldn't believe it. The body shop guy. The body shop guy said he'd, he'd charge twenty grand for that. Paint twenty job. grand to do that paint job. Candy apple, anything. Whether it be red, pink, or purple, or, or green, as we have, you probably get it done for four hundred dollars in America, but that's not the point. <laughs> um, yes, he 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 said that paint job he'd be charging twenty grand. That's before any other repairs. Two thousand four hundred just for the tailgate. Yes, that's the invoice. So, yeah, we end up with that. Now, what else did we learn from our trip? We're we'll talking about. Well, we talked to uh, my. Um, uh, niece's husband, who is uh, descended from the King of Morocco, mm. and he's the uh, the man that uh, when we were talking about Jaime, he was locked up in a prison in uh, mm. Morocco, and uh, I said to uh, Michelle at the Catholic club in Hurstville in Australia, Sydney, Australia, it's a good place. You can get a dollar meal there and spend fifty bucks in the poker machines. Mm. Anyhow, uh, I said, do you love him? She said, yeah. I said, you want me to get him back for you? She said, yeah. So I said, let's go down and find out where he is. She said, he's in jail. I said, don't know. So we go down and find, in the rain, we find a, uh, a phone box, which takes one of these call cards, and actually works right? quite rare for Australian, because they usually get brutalised within a few minutes. Uh, thing. As soon as the guy who installs it walks away, the kids get in and run it, right? This one worked, and uh, I said, well, phone where you were living together the last time you were together. And that was in a uh, Jewish lady's uh, um, apartment or guest house, that's what I want. Boarding guest house. house, yeah. Boarding house in uh, London. Mm. And as Michelle was talking and reminding her who she was and so forth, she asked the lady if she'd seen Jaime. And she said, no, I haven't seen him. As she's saying, no, I hadn't seen him, he walks in the door. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when we're down in... Uh, uh, Talking to uh, the kids down there, um, I told the youngster, like uh, in particular Lily, because Lily was born because of that coming together of the two. And Jaime had told me originally, and so had Michelle, that um, while he was locked up, um, the angel Gabriel appeared to him and took him up into the heavens for three days mm. and showed him what was going to happen in the future, and that his uh, girlfriend, which was Michelle at the time, is the uh, niece of Christ. Mm. And he told me about Lexus and uh, there's a face of God in this old ruined, uh, must be some sort of a temple or something. Mm. And the Lexus River, I of course measured it, was 222 miles long, it means light. Mm. And uh, so he then uh, gets out of uh, Morocco, comes back into England. Here's a, a Muslim and um, He's threatening the life of the queen, yet they let him in. 
mm. like an impossibility. And he said he got followed around for all the time he was in London looking for Michelle. And finally walks into the, the guest house where they were mm. as we were bringing from Australia. So Lily, she was born from that. And I kept, even when she was little, I used to say, well, this is how it come about. I arranged it for you. Mm. That's why I've got her. I said, but whatever your parents say and whatever else I'll teach you at school, it's all bullshit. Just learn and teach yourself and discern which is right and which is wrong. But <clears throat> because of the prophecies of the Bible and the royal family being the have to, God has to come through the royal family. You've got to be the most royal what man on the planet. What's the point that was? And um, to put everything straight. But we'll be rejected because adults are all stupid. And that is why you have to become like a little child and enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm. So I said, now you stay as sweet as you are. Keep your mind open. She said, I'm already doing that. So she had been over with uh, Michelle and the two sisters over to uh, the Philippines where my uh, nephew... Um, with the proceeds of his drug money and uh, uh, had built a house, $164,000 worth of house in Australian money in the Philippines is a lot of money. And uh, while he had the people working for him over there, he screamed his lungs out night and day. And uh, he's been doing that ever since he's a two-year-old. So his, his uh, uh, wife that he married over there, what date did they marry? 26th of September 2011. 26th of September 2011. Uh, I haven't done the numbers on it yet, I will. However, uh, uh, he was told, because he is a lunatic, he was told by the Garden Institute that had studied my blood that his blood also had chromosome, um, what is it, 3, 4, and uh, 13. 13. Which is 3, 4, 13 in Greek is uh, the angel Michael, which is the angel of Jesus. But it's also the angel of uh, Israel, not the Jewish Israel, that's bullshit one. The true Israel, which is the descendants of, of uh, the true line of kings that come down through Ireland, Scotland and England, and Cornwall. So um, he just blurted this out and, and, and he said to me, he said, I hate being mad. Well, you were there. Mm. I hate being mad. He said, you're the only one in the family that ain't mad. I said, well, maybe you should listen to me. Right. And what he was doing on his farm, he had uh, excavated three or four dams down a hill. And uh, he wanted to uh, feed electricity back onto the grid. And he had stolen this uh, 400 metres of uh, cable. Everything he does is steal. He's a thief. You lie on the bed, drug it, drug, you know, he's done. And his frequency brothels continuously. Um, now, what he had done was he started to build this, and this guy's a licensed builder too. He started to build this tower thing, and I said, Well, what are you doing? And uh, he said that uh, he's going to lift the water up at the top and let it drain down and build a, uh, a flywheel where the water is going to hit it and turn it and he's going to use the differential out of the car and put paddles on it attached to the wheels and they're going to turn over and generate power. I said, but how are you going to get water up top? Well, that part confused him a little bit. I said, if you're going to have over unity, you've got to use the resources that you've got available. You've got to use magnets or you've got to use hydrogen or you've got to use something that you can generate for nothing and uh, therefore drive power. So I said, now you've got four dams here, remember that? And this is quite substantial, better big as a house, one dam, and then there's another dam below that where he's building this bloody thing, another one below that, another one down maybe 150 feet below that. I said, what you do is, because we're at the end of the ranges, it forms a, uh, a valley of his property, and the wind blows like, mm -hmm. like, well, like a hurricane sometimes. I said, what you do is you put up several windmills, right, which drive mechanical pumps. And a mechanical pump can pump water as high as you like. You go 2,000 feet with a mechanical pump. Mm. So I said, what you do is you take the water from the bottom and then pump it to the top. Maybe if you've got to build another one, make it even higher. And then you run the water down through a turbine, and this will give you continuous electricity that you can feed onto the grid. Mm. Right? You might be at $200 a day. Who knows? Maybe more. Didn't quite get that. 
So he called me a stupid old dickhead, although that's the usual thing. Something like that. And uh, of course, when we go out there to see, mm. uh, what I want to do is get one of my trailers back that I've given to his father to bring our stuff up from Melbourne to here. And then we're going to go back down to get more stuff. Mm. And uh, being a nice chap, what he is, he told his sister that he'd sold them. Of course, we go out the farm to have a look and they're still sitting there rusting away. So it's just an arsehole. They won't even let his uncle, his own trailer. Mm. So over in the Philippines, he marries this woman. Um, she had been um, brought in by this criminal who owned uh, several of the uh, sort of bar brothels, a German fella, bad man, and his wife. And the wife didn't want to have a baby. Well, I can expect him, why not? That arsehole. Sort of so he gets this young girl, come in, 17 years old, live in the house, and he gets her pregnant to have babies. Right? The wife doesn't like it, the German woman, so she divorces him and goes back. Now, being Germans, nationals, they can get divorced. But in the Philippines, once you marry, it's you marry for life. Mm. You can't get divorced. So the guy finally dies of cancer, and the lady inherits. And she's got two girls, all right? Mm. So Stephen gets over there and he sees an opportunity here. He's going to have his own brothel. And he marries this woman. So now they're married for life. He spends $164,000, huge amount of money in the Philippines. And all built this beautiful house. And And everything's in her name. Because of the law. Because of the law. Foreign nationals can't. So when uh, the kids are over there with uh, Stephen's sister, he... um, Becomes ill. He has three days blackout. And then when they was leaving to go on the flight back, one of his eyes had bugged out his head. And uh, he couldn't get off the bed to move. But the lady had said that Stephen yells at her all the time and terrifies her and the kids. Because right? it's limited. So uh, she asked Michelle what properties he owns in Australia. Because if he's dead... She gets the properties in Australia too, but she's got to know where they are. So she then says to Michelle about this constant abuse. Her former husband used to belt her so much he used to make his fist bleed Mm. during the kids. So that's the kind of arsehole she lived with until Stephen came along, another arsehole. And uh, now he's screaming and terrorizing her and uh, goes off to the brothels, which he's not real happy with. And uh, any woman wouldn't be, I imagine. So uh, she says to Michelle that she's very well connected with the criminal element there. And that with one phone call, uh, she could get someone come out and shoot him in the head. Well, Michael, his brother, was shot in the head. And that's the guy that was uh, involved with me in the uh, Miracle Water and Hovel Street in Melbourne, Main Street in Melbourne, we're setting up an AIDS and cancer clinic. And uh, we got in an altercation and he, uh, he's a three-time world kickboxing champion. And he punched me several times and I said, that's it, and you get stuck. So uh, I walked out. I said, you quick, you can have it. And he says to me, don't tell the family or I'll kill you. And I said, you don't think I'm frightened either, I saw so he was quite surprised. Only burst into tears. He's a man of what three times world kickboxing champion. He said, oh, I thought you were like my father. I said, This is what you do to your father? Mm. I'm covered in blood, wearing the glasses. He hit me in the glasses and they cut either side of my eyes there. And split the nose and teeth. So anyhow, I dreamed five days in a row up until the 25th of uh, October 2003 that he was laying face down with his eye blown out, shot full of times in the back of the head. It was also shot in the back. So I dreamed this before it happened. And on the Friday at 6.36 in the evening, on um, the 25th of um, October 2003, the star directly above where he got shot was YBS 7703, which is found in Job 1521. The 1521 number is the same length as to lead in the from the Grand Gallery of the Great Pyramid into the Unfinished Queen's Chamber, which re- represents the future. And 15, 21 days before the 21st of December 2012, we cured our first AIDS patient in New mm. Guinea. James. James, right? 
and he became James Bond, didn't he? Mm -hmm. This man couldn't hardly move, couldn't blink yeah. his eyes. And so we cured him within a few minutes. And uh, the next day he's running around like James Bond, collecting a beer bottle, as we did for him. Seven. Anyhow, uh, getting back to Stephen, uh, he was born on the anniversary of the uh, judgment against Charles I. And uh, uh, what's odd about it, this is in uh, 1649. Three days later, Charles I was beheaded. Now, he was a man who loved Jesus. He said he was going to be with Jesus. And the Jews in Amsterdam had arranged it. And they told mm -hmm. Cromwell that uh, they had to get to finance England again, they had to allow the Jews back in, of course, and get rid of Charles I, but not to make it look like they're behind it. Mm. So they then set him up and they charged him with being a tyrant and they bullshitted there. They allowed him to escape. Allowed him to escape him. and uh, he was taking the treasury across into Scotland and the River Fife or something like that and they damned both sunk or something like that. So they say they probably stole the gold mm. and said he, he lost it. Mm. That's probably the truth of it all. So, Stephen, he had fallen in love with a lady who looked like Cindy Crawford on a trip going over to Europe. He met her on a plane, fallen madly in love, going all over Europe together. Was there for the trans for the uh, solar eclipse in, he went to Romania, where the highest of the arc was, and with this lady and uh, saw the transition of the uh, solar eclipse of uh, 1999, the last of the millennium, on the 11th of uh, August. Right now, he then goes back to coming back to Australia, and he's going to sell up his farm where we went out, where he's got my stolen trailer. And uh, he decides he's so much in love, you know. He got to put it that way. He goes to the brothels in Amsterdam, shags himself stupid, and then gets stoned out of his tree, and they load him up with five hundred thousand dollars worth of ecstasy or something. And he flies into Australia, and I told him, first off, you've got to go clean, right? mm -hmm. and also not to do anything illegal, because they're watching the Marshall family. Mm -hmm. So his name is Stephen Andrew Marshall. So he gets nailed, coming into Sydney with all these drugs on him. It's a stone out of his tree again. Gets five years jail. Um, this happened on. May the 11th, I believe, which is the same date I left Australia and returned to Australia. No, that was a date I met Michelle mm. in uh, Melbourne in uh, 1997. And it's also the same date that you left. The same date I left in 1989 mm. to Canada on the run from the law. All right, so we're very well known to the uh, ASIO and to, uh, of course, the Federal Police and the State Police and uh, Interpol and so forth. So, Interpol tip the federal police off that he's coming in. Mm. And of course he gets nailed. And he says to me, oh, it's only because one of the ten most wanted names on the Interpol <coughs> was Stephen Michael Marshall. Scotsman. He says, but to get it here. Yeah. Yeah, too late. His first day in jail, he's gonna serve five years. And uh, he's walking into the library looking for something to do and a book falls off the off the uh, library shelf, <clears throat> something similar to what happened to me with the mm. other book that I found. And uh, it was open at page 222. Now, there's 222 truths in the Bible, 222 wisdom, and I weigh 222 pounds, and three times 222 is, you know, guess So the book is open, and it's on the beheading of Charles I, and they didn't cut his head off with a clean snap, they hacked it off. Mm -hmm. Now, remembering that Stephen was born in 1963 on the same date as the judgment against the king, mm -hmm. 1649. So I tell Michelle, my niece, that's his sister, ring the idiot up and say that his wife said that she wanted to know what property he owned in Australia, mm -hmm. which is also a farm and I think something else, a shop. Right? He owns a shop uh, with a residence and his farm with a residence. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, at that point, she should have, he should have picked up. 
I did it. And then she says, uh, I'm very well connected through her husband, who owns, she now owns these brothels uh, or nightclubs. It's a nightclub. And um, with one phone call, mm. I could have Stephen shot in the head. Mm. Now, his brother had been shot in the head. So mm. I'm telling Michelle, tell Stephen mm. that this is what his wife is thinking if he doesn't stop going to brothels and if he doesn't stop abusing her, mm. that she's going to get rid of him because she's got, in their kind of money, a million dollar reason to knock him mm. off. Right? So this is what happened on the trip down there. We also uh, talked to Jaime, which is the wife, uh, the, rather the husband of uh, Michelle, my niece. And his story is somewhat changed about what originally he told me. And now he is the great Marty. He's also the king of the world. Um, what else is he? Oh, if he, if he dies, the whole world dies. And the sun is his wife. And the sun is his wife. And the moon tells the sun. And the moon tells the sun what to do. Mm -hmm. This is coming from the mind of a man that studies the Quran, which is a Sunni fucked in the head Muslim, which they all are. Right? That's why the Persians study and believe Jesus came, died on the cross according to the old prophecies, the Hindu prophecies, because they study all the prophecies. Mm -hmm. So now we're in a situation where... Uh, the last report we've had is that uh, one of the chemical plants, alleged chemical plant, in Iran was hit by... No, 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 Syria. Uh, oh, Syria, is sorry. Israel struck. Israel struck it Syria was and took out... Their, was taking out one of their lead scientists. And, and two, killed two men. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Now, this is the red line that we're approaching, which Iran is talking about, and it's very likely that uh, with you... Uh, company and backing of Russia, mm. the Arab League, mm. which are all Sunni Muslims, all fact in the head, Muslims, but Persia is quite capable of taking out, and they don't need nuclear weapons. In any case, nuclear weapons won't work now because we're in the northern side of the Milky Way galaxy. That's what mm. this radio station thing was all about. That's right. So the word's sneaking out. And protocol... 14 is we will forbid Christ. Well, of course, they're not doing a very good job of it. Because we are now over the... And... Hmm? 22,246 views on well, Sherry's tell the story channel. about that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, the anonymous did. Where they've apologised for uh, working for the devil. They've realised the error of their ways. And they are now serving the Christ, Brian Leonard, go lightly marshal. It's had 22,246 views. <laughs> Let's see, 32, 32 thumbs up and 162 thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> and the trolls are having a field day. By the way, trolls, you're in good You're doing company. a very good job. <laughs> good company. What was that about... Uh, what conclusion did well, we Well, your enemy's enemy becomes your friend. Oh, yes, right? yes, yes, yes. But to make the trolls my enemy, and they do, I guess, they can't help talking about yeah. me, telling the bloody world yeah. what a wanker I am, and yet, in fact, that's exactly what I'm trying to make them do. Mm. And they're Try. doing it. <laughs> <laughs> You've got no idea how he just revels in being a wanker. <laughs> I knew before I found him. I was a wanker. That God was a dog, and uh, it was odd, it's got to be God. And a sense of humor and hates religion. And the air foil is his favorite word. So, you know, of course, that's blasphemy in the world of those who are worshipping the image of the beast. Fuck the Christian. Yeah. Fuck the Muslim. <laughs> totally. Let me know if I missed somebody. How many did we find worthy to be saved on no. our trip? Mm. So, trolls are in really good company. The rest of the world is disqualified as well. So, keep it up. Everybody so, I'll tell the kids. This is my niece's kids. They're glued to every word we yes. say. And I told them, you listen to what your parents say or what your teachers mm. say because they're all fucked in the head. Totally. Consumed and devoured. You've got to be like a little child to enter the kingdom of God. Mm. Since it's my kingdom, the adults aren't getting it. That's right. Let's say we think.
Mm. Now, Coriolis effect. Yeah. It's been reversing every four minutes. Mm. This is what's causing this weather. And out from the center of the Milky Way galaxy, it's all light emerging from the other realm of heaven. And this is why they say there's a, there's a black hole in the middle of it. It's the stupidest statement of all time. They've got a great big mass of white stars. Mm. And they're saying, oh, they're all being drawn in. From where? Right? Mm. In fact, they're spewing out. And what's happening is there's waves coming out from the center of this, this white hole where all this energy is pouring through. And, of course, here's the, the Earth like that. And these waves are coming through. And depending where we are, because we're traveling at 69,000 miles per hour, and we're coming up at 63 and a half degrees or something like that. It means kilometers. Kilometers per hour. And the waves, where we cross through that, we are crossing through the tip of these, and they're quite close together. And that's why you go on one side of it, four minutes later, the bloody corrie at the water draining down the tap is going the other direction. So if you want to prove if I'm full of shit or not, go to your sink, and for the next hour, Put a little potassium nut in like that and float. Make sure the water's not spinning. You can do that with um, well, putting a couple of plates in or something like that. Pour the water in slowly, fill it up, make sure it's not, not spinning. And then let it drain out and get a CD, a DVD like this. Like that. Put it over the sink, put a grape or something in there like I did and fill it up with water. Take the grape away and then watch as the water will start to drain down. And sometimes it goes straight down without, without any spin at all. But at this point in time, it's been spinning backwards. And the date is what? The 1st of January? 1st of February? 31st of January. 2013. Mm. And uh, you'll find it'll spin. Sometimes it goes straight down and then the other time we go back to the way. And that's because we're riding through this peak of, of uh, magnetic energy waves coming out from the centre of the Milky Way galaxy. So, anything else for tonight? Oh, we got a car for nothing when, when uh, yep, we we'll started trying to kill us. We got it all done. Anyway, I'm really tired. I'm Brilliant bit of driving. Sleep. I thought. So, uh, it's been. They try to push us in front all, of a big freight line. Yeah, our trip was also all about delay. We knew that before we left. Stars were talking about delay because we were delayed everywhere. Delayed over the air conditioning, delayed over the accident, and then um, delayed four days with flood waters. However, Really pleased to be home. So there's a great big freight liner coming through. <laughs> We're coming off the expressway, and this car rams us from behind. Yep. And pushes into the front of this bloody truck. However, but as you know, uh, accelerate, throw it into reverse, hit the brakes. And while the wheels are spinning, it spins the car around, and of course the truck misses us by the length of my dick. And there was no pole involved, was there? No, what? no pole, only an Egyptian. <laughs>